and hello everyone and welcome back to Shea Games Library channel. This is episode 7 of our No DLC City. I was very inspired by recent release of shopping malls and uh, Sports Avenue's content creator packs, so I decided to do something similar in our city. And as you can see, we have this option about uh, uh, sp sports. This is uh, very attractive, but uh, not uh, really. Uh, this arena is very attractive, but it's not really fitting to our city. And we have this sports arena. This is more in line with our city, uh, with overall look of our city. But as you can uh, see, uh, this high school is bigger than this arena, and this arena with three-story high stands should house about 50 to 60,000 people. So this arena is not in line with our city in terms of scale. So uh, instead of uh, placing this arena or any other arena, I decided to build my own custom-made uh, football uh, stadium in this place here. And after that, I will make a small shopping center right next to the stadium. So uh, at the start, as always, this, is ter this terrain is uh, very hard to work with and we need to do much of uh, landscaping and terraforming. And uh, landscaping is actually one of the best tools you can use in any city and especially in a city made without mods or DLCs. This you can see we are building entrance area or football stadium. With uh, of course a few parking lots. And in this place here I'm try trying to determine uh, length uh, and overall size of the football field. So these are boundaries for our football field and uh, here you can see me again using the old trick uh, with quays and trenches. I filled trenches with water and uh, built quays. We, we can use quays as outer uh, walls of our uh, city uh, football stadium. actual football field will be dig in about uh, five meters into the ground so we can actually make uh, football stands for this uh, stadium We can smooth terrain uh, now, so we can give a slight slope uh, to actual uh, football stands. And I'm using these uh, parts here to simulate the uh, concrete uh, look of the stands. Alright, this looks uh, very good for now, it uh, looks uh, pretty much uh, realistic, if you ask me, uh, considering we actually don't have a football field, and uh, now we can do uh, some more detailing, for example, we can add uh, fences for security reasons around the football uh, stadium, 
on all sides, especially on this uh, side and this uh, south side here. And this is looking very good. And I also wanted to make a separation between different stands. And since we don't have any good fences for those, I have decided to use these live hedges here. So in this part, this is part for the home team. This is part for judges, for, uh, for referees, and this is part for the away team. Also, we can separate actual football field from the stands with these uh, smaller uh, green live hedges. And this is how our stadium looks after more detailing. Uh, I added here a small medical clinic just in case this is a sports, uh, sports uh, facility. Uh, and I added here a statue of shopping. It's, it uh, blends in perfectly here. It's uh, just uh, the right size for, for the entrance of the stadium. and adding more pads here to, to simulate a concrete look of the overall concrete look of the stadium. Now with that uh, being done, uh, we can now uh, proceed and continue to build a medium -sized, sized shopping mall here in this area. Again, we have to terraform a lot of land but that's okay, uh, we need a, a flat space for, for our shopping centers. And here I will uh, clean, clean this area of all things we don't need and give it a little slope here on the right side for this road. And now we can uh, try to figure out actual size of the parking lots and actual size of shopping malls. This road here will serve as the eastern entrance to the shopping mall, the entrance from the, from the river, and we can place another shopping mall here. Uh, add, of course, more parking lots to this shopping mall, add some plazas. Uh, we can add here park for the children. And you can see me here struggling to find anything that can fit in this area. Well, I didn't find anything, so I have decided to make my own custom-made uh, park in this, in that area. And this park will have place for the chess players, place for people to sit back and relax, a place for children to play, to, to fool around. And this place for children is also have a lot of benches so parents can actually uh, watch their children and enjoy them playing. And of course, after the long day of shopping, playing and running running around uh, people tend to get hungry and so I built few of those uh, kiosks few of those food stands
adding some more trees, uh, these decorative trees for color variety. And adding more trees to this central uh, park area. Now I added these tall trees here, but then I discovered these red trees that came with the latest uh, City Skylines uh, update. So I decided to remove those high trees and replace them with these uh, red trees just to give uh, more of uh, color variety to this area. And of course, uh, uh, we can add more shopping uh, malls here. Uh, this is an another uh, shopping center that we have uh, built in into no uh, into the base game with no DLCs everything kind of have that concrete look and I added two, two more uh, parks for children in this area uh, they did not align perfectly but uh, they came out uh, after all uh, very nice uh, as you will see So this look, so this area looks uh, very, very nice now. You can see a lot of uh, cars coming in to this area. There is a lot of interest uh, here, and you can play around with uh, these parking lots. You can change them, and uh, I did some traffic management here just to ease down con congestion in this area. Turned off all traffic lights and things will get uh, clear soon. There it is, uh, it's all fine now with the traffic and uh, with the fireworks we can open our stadium. So you can see we have a lot of visitors into our shopping centers, uh, 64, 80, 64, even parking lots are very occupied. This is a good thing, uh, I think this is a, a great spot uh, for shopping area. And as you can see, all streets, uh, none of these uh, streets uh, have any space for park parking. And this is uh, very important. All these streets uh, have trees and grass. This is very important. Uh, it uh, contributes the overlook, uh, the overall uh, look of the of this uh, shopping center. Uh, since uh, cars cannot park on the street, they will use designated parking lots of the shopping centers. And this is looking very nice, uh, very realistic uh, and gives, gives away feel that uh, this is actually very popular shopping center. And now uh, one more thing not to forget, I did add uh, chairs to these football uh, uh, stands and you can see uh, we have different kind of uh, chairs, we have uh, standard chairs, we have uh, VIP sections, we have even a stand for the owners and their guests and here on these parts uh, we don't have uh, Chairs, uh, this part is reserved for the football fans, the so-called ultras. 
they never uh, actually sit in the chair they always stand they always sing they always cheer for they for their uh, team and i think this football stadium does look overall uh, very nice and these shopping malls also look over overall very nice and busy and live and I'm very pleased with the end result so at the end i would like to say thank you very much for watching this episode please comment like subscribe and i'll see you soon in episode number eight thank you very much and bye bye